Hey, what is going on guys? It is the Allah's Project here and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4000 Week Reich as the, well, currently Kingdom of Yugoslavia, but we are on our on a path to uh, recreate Greater Serbia or create Greater Serbia. Anyway, last episode we left off as we re-established Kingdom of Yugoslavia and in order to start liberating our lands we need to go through the Liberate the Sons of Serbia focus, and for that to happen we need to have at least 50,000 uh, men in divisions in the field, and more factories than 10, we currently have 8. So, we have Junta of St. Sava, and let's see, uh, this is all the um, buffs. These are all buffs. Um, Homogenous Serbia, New Serbian Army, Lessons from the Axis Invasion. Um, Alright, let's do the general, because that's going to give us the buff uh, 10 uh, division attack and division defense. Dragoljub Draže Mihailović led the nation with exceptional success after the collapse of the Yugoslav army, the very course of the occupation and finally leading the nation through the civil war against the communists and fascists. Therefore, he shall be given supreme command over the army of Serbia as befits an army general of his rank. Right, let's roll. We currently have 33,000 men. Uh, in the field so we are going to build uh three more infantry divisions which will raise our total manpower to 66,000. uh but we do not have anything major because these are all again infantry that will need tanks in order to achieve uh, a lot of our goals so these are pretty big divisions with a lot of equipment that stands Anyway, uh, what's happening in the world right now? The German Civil War is still happening, and it would seem that uh, Martin Bormann is going to win. Uh, Heinrich Himmler is being pushed back into the sea, I guess. And uh, yeah, so is Franz Halder and his emergency Werkstatt. Uh, so of course, he has been elected as the ruler of Polish Home Army, which is good. Uh, the civil war in Ukraine, nothing much happening there. It's pretty much a stalemate from what I can see. We've got this Russian civil war here. Um, so far from what I can see, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics is the leading factor. Yes, they are stronger than the Russian Republic, so they are the leading, leading factor. All right, let's do the new Royal Army, which will gain us, give us a lot more buffs. I'm not gonna read through all of these because, again, no need. I want to start doing some stuff. Um, what's happening? Yeah, the war. Oh, okay. Just as we got here, it would seem that there is a possibility China will actually cut off the Vietnamese troops in the north, which will, which does not bode well for Vietnam. Um, who's leading the U.S.? Completely forgot. It is. Estes Kepower? 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 Is that... I believe that's... Is that a Jewish name? I do not know. Do not know. They still have segregation. And uh, what else? Okay, who is this guy? What does he do? Uh, is that establishment Democrat? Or Republican? Sorry. No, it's the Democrats. Okay. Moder I believe that's the moderate Democrats. So, yeah, I guess, I guess it's fine. They're moderate. Um, oh, okay. Westland, the race bad into Westland is that? Yeah, this is the uh, yeah, that's the uh, the Dutch. That's the Dutch. Anyway, we've got our new army. Um, these do not. Though we could get these. Yeah, we could get this out of the way early on, so we don't lose manpower later on. The lawyer revise the constitution, reaffirm dictatorship, perpetual martial law, or sacred duty. Uh, snuff out false national. Yeah, that's gonna happen later on. All right, let's do the ideologue and his. Um, let's get the negative penalty out of the way. Straight off the bat, because once we get all the cores, I don't want to have minus ten percent on uh, everything. So. That'd be pretty, pretty bad. All right, we're making three divisions. Do we have any tanks in reserve? We do. We've got 37 of those. 
And we need how many for this? Uh, 120. All right, we'll have to build a lot more tanks. We currently can't build it. Let's just do the ideologue, homogenous Serbia theory, and then let's do uh, economic relief, because we'll need that in order to proceed and build more guns and all that. What do we need for this? We need to unite Serbia in order to uh, start negotiating wider alliances. Ooh, fanatical resistance. Yeah, we need that. Fanatical resistance is exceptionally good. We definitely need that. Yeah, we've got fanatical resistance already, I believe. Okay, so they signed a white peace. A ceasefire in, in Switzerland. Yeah, fanatical resistance is already pretty, pretty good. Alright, let's do homogenous Serbia. Get that out of the way. Let me just read for it. It is a mistake to entrust different nations with the management of a state intended for only one nation. So by that theory, we will set several rules that will guarantee the purity and unity of Serbia by set setting all Serbs as one nation that can decide on the important issues of the state. Okay, very well. Okay, so the Soviets have finally started... There goes Benelux. Uh, the Soviets have finally started uh, attacking the Idel Ural. All right. Yeah, it's, it would seem that the Soviets under are definitely going to reunite their country. Bormann is going to win, from what I can see. Uh, Switzerland has freed itself. So that's good. That is good indeed. We just need to build a sizable army. Alright, what's... Okay, that's Peter II. I uh, uh, like... Oh, there, there's even a biography. Nice. Alright, United Nations. We are not a part of the United Nations at the moment. We'll probably become that once we unite everything. Uh, let's get flamethrowers number two, because that really helps our engineers. It's pretty OP, to be honest. But then again, flamethrowers are supposed to be OP, especially when clearing out. Um, and there goes Vietnam. They lasted all these years and they, they just collapsed. Too bad, so sad. Uh, anyway, let's go. Economic relief mandate. Let's go. So yeah, now we, Vietnam is a puppet of the Chinese. The Chinese now have a bigger sphere of influence, though they did lose Tibet. And Angola just staged an uprising against... Okay, sorry, let me just grab this. Okay, well, I mean, Ireland... Oh, yeah, Ireland's still not... Yeah, Ireland's still not unified, so... They're still not unified. Do they have a focus? Uh, do not think so, no. No, they don't. They do not. What's going on over here? Conservatives are in charge. Um, but what route is this? They are Butler's conservatives, but I don't see them that as as that powerful. I mean, they chosen wind of change or the sun never sets. I guess. Oh yeah, it's because it's not after 1955, obviously. I hope they remain colonial empire because France imploded and it, it's disgusting at the moment. Greek civil war still going on. Great. Grand. Okay, what are we missing for our divisions? I believe... Uh, Anti-tank and some support equipment. Okay, so let's go with anti-tank. We need a lot more of those. Let's do this. I mean, we've got plenty of rivals, so I guess we can prioritize other stuff at the moment. Yeah, we've got 3,000 3, rifles to, ready to... Uh, well, on, on standby, so to say. All 
Right, so economic relief mandate after that, we can go to battle for industry, gain two military factories, which will obviously get us up to ten. Uh, what else do we get? Uh, battle for roads, battle for economy, that gives us civilian factories, that's good. Mechanization efforts, establish grand companies, reprivatize the banks, stabilize the dinar. Ooh, off map. Okay, there's a lot of factories to grab here. So we're gonna go with the military ones because we need those straight away. There's a lot of stuff. I would like to do a lot of these up until probably like right here, I guess. Before we proceed with uh, attacking anyone. Because I want a sizable army. Uh, particularly because now Croatia... Actually, Croatia is okay. They are not a an Italian puppet. Uh, Montenegro is gonna be a tough son of a bitch because that's gonna be bloody hard to snatch from. During my test let's play I got destroyed by Italians. Uh, Kosovo and West, West Macedonia will be a piece of cake because these guys just went communist with Hoxha and they're pretty useless. Uh, Bulgaria, as long as they don't join uh, Italy, I'm a-okay -okay with that. It's gonna be pretty, pretty okay. So, uh, the eastern part of our state is going to be reunited quite easily. It's the western part that's going to be slightly more difficult. I mean, we should probably get uh, Banat quite easily, and then Vojvodina should also fall. Because they go through, well, we go through a border conflict with already weakened Hungary. So, I believe that should be okay. Anyway, there goes the SS, so yeah, Borman is, Borman's pretty much got this in the bag, that they did lose all of their gains in the in the uh, east. We will see, we will see what's, what's gonna happen. Russia's on path for reunification, definitely, but I still don't see Del Ural uh, dying, so that's weird. Anyway, we've got a new division, which is grand. Let us start training them. Right, that's going to give us two military factories. Uh, one will build for support equipment. There it is. Support equipment and one will build uh, light tanks. Yeah, I believe light tanks should be enough. For the moment, obviously, um, obviously, we don't have the uh, we don't have the um, template for any major divisions. They do have proper uh, tank divisions, but oh well. I'm gonna start training this uh, tank battalion. We we'll need some militarized for it as well, but hey. We'll build it eventually. Uh, we should go for limited conscription, most definitely. We'll need the manpower. We're currently fielding 44,000 men. Which is pretty... Ooh, the people's Germany. German Spring. Okay, that's this is just Germania, so that's probably not gonna last. They're only and they only have seven to fourteen division. Yeah, they're not gonna last. They're socialist. But they are. They have fanatic revolts. Oh, they do have a, a focus tree. Oh, now, now this is interesting. This is interesting. I have not seen this happen before. There's a lot of paths they can go with. Oh, they are actually snatching a lot of land. So, Borman, um, I guess you don't have it in the bag yet. Because these guys are just snatching land from you. I mean, they only have 7 to 14 divisions, but then again, you've got two more enemies to fight with. The more Germans dead, the merrier for us, because uh, that means we will not have as big of a threat against us. And I mean a lot of Germans died. That's a that's million Germans right there. That's almost a million right there. That's gonna be bloody hard. 
it's a brutal civil war, they will not recover from that easily. Republic of Iraq declared war on Imperial State of Iran. Okay, Iran's gonna lose. They don't have that big of a... Uh, they don't have that big of an army. Let's go to the Battle for Education. We need that research slot now more than ever. We're building that one additional factory that we will need. Okay, yeah, Borman said, yeah, I've let you play for long enough, it's time to die. Yeah. An interesting, an interesting, uh, happening, but that's it. Adolfsberg Verwald. I like how they've renamed Leningrad to Adolfsberg. But yeah, after we are done with Battle for Education, we can. Uh, that's gonna give us construction speed. But yeah, let's rush this side first. Off roads, cash crop, exploitation, mechanization reforms, then we'll, we'll do these. Establish crown companies. We just need construction at the moment. Uh, am I willing to just. Trade. I, I guess I'm gonna trade for steel because we just need that steel for production. We need it for more efficient production. Fine. These guys are still spreading, okay. And they are growing in size. I mean, regarding divisions. But Borman is out on the outskirts of Germania, so... There we go, there's the battle for education. Let's go battle for roads, even though we don't need that at the moment. Um, 1956, let's grab that. It's not too far ahead. Muzzle brakes, that's gonna help our troops aim. And it seems that the Southwest Army Command will definitely defeat Bandera. And here comes the US invading Germany. Uh, are they gonna help people, Germany? I guess so, because they're... Yeah, they're only not at war, the US, so... Interesting developments all around. And now we've got... Uh, Germany at war with... Yeah, pretty much all of the world again. Mm, yep, yeah, doesn't bode well for Germany, but it bodes well for us because we plan on joining the Toronto Accords. Most definitely. So as to secure the place of Serbia. And there goes people Germany, they lasted for quite a while. And considering all that, uh, it seems that Vers Emergency Verstadt is uh, making a comeback. Though the Allies are pushing in through... Yep. Just, just amazing, amazing happenings all around. 10 out of 10. Okay, we've got plenty of artillery. Um, yeah, we need, we need a lot of uh, Panzerfausts. Okay, these guys are ready. No need to exercise them more than necessary. We could exercise these guys. I want creme de la creme units. What do these guys need? Oh, yeah, what do these guys need? They still need Panzerfausts, okay. So they need Panzerfausts to complete their training, and these guys also need support equipment and Panzerfausts. Roger that. After and start working to regain Banat. This is just, yeah. Anti German coal. Oh, these guys are in the coalition. Uh, Iraq, why did you do that? That was not a smart thing to do, Iraq. You were winning against Iran. Now Iran's gonna join Toronto Accords. Most definitely. Oh well. Yeah, Germany screwed. 